Hey everyone, I'm doing a video, I know it's rather late, but I decided to do a video to share some of the things I was working on this week. First and foremost, I'm on Canva, I'm cracking up. Um, this is, I, I'm just showing a, um, an example of Canva's newer feature. They are starting to offer a lot of YouTube thumbnails now. That's the hot the hot thing. <laughs> um, so they are, they've jumped on the bandwagon, but you know, Canva gets a lot of slack. Canva gets a lot of slack. You know, a lot of people judge Canva because obviously Canva allows your everyday common person to do, <laughs> to accomplish, you know, some designs you know, graphic art and things of that nature, flyers, business cards, whatever. Canva lets you do whatever. But anyway, it gets a lot of slack from, you know, designers out there in the community. And, you know, kind of downplaying people for using it. But, you know, for, as far as do-it-yourself is concerned, and the fact that it empowers people to be creative and, you know, not maybe be professional graphic designers, but still accomplish on their own, I say more power to Canva because they're offering a quality product to the average person. And they get pops for that. Um, you know, do I love the way things come out better? Probably using Photoshop. Yeah, because you have a lot of options. But I tell you what, Canva has some really good templates. And that's just all I'm going to say. But anyway, I'm laughing because I, I used a picture of my rambunctious three-year-old here. And as you can see, she looks like she's ready to jump out of the picture. Like, ha! <laughs> and that's the exact effect I was looking for. <laughs> This um, thumbnail will be to a tutorial in regards to designing a tee, like a t-shirt, using Adobe Photoshop. And as you'll see, she has a cute tee on, believe in your dreams. And I thought that's pretty cute. I'll use her on this particular thumbnail, but I'll be using it at a later date. So that's pretty cool. I wanted to show you that. Minimizing. I also want to talk today about the fact that I discovered, and I am probably late in discovering, don't get me wrong, but I discovered, <laughs> like, you know, you ever have one of those moments where you feel like, where was I living under a rock? Or where was I living on Pluto while everybody else figured this out? That's how I felt today. Because I discovered Adobe Portfolio, which is here. A little bit further up, right there. PF. Everything here has like two initials as far as Adobe is concerned. So I'm on Creative Cloud. First, I'm just going to quickly show you those who are in the design community, you know this. I'm telling you like ABCs right now. <laughs> you already know this stuff. But for those who don't know, it. I don't even know what to say. I get tongue tied and speechless because I'm just in a maze, in a, you know, always like, amazed by creative cloud and what it has to offer you know i was hesitant when i purchased or signed up for a subscription i was like eh, one more thing eh, i don't know about this uh, is it going to be worth it you know i heard other people complaining it's so expensive now it's not extremely expensive but you know i don't know i get a cheaper rate personally <laughs> because if you're an educator or a student it's like $20 a month compared to the $50 a month that other people are paying, like $49.99 or something like that. But you know what? I'm going to tell you this. If you were to purchase, I remember back in the day when I was designing, I had to purchase these the software. And I'm going to tell you, if you were to purchase like two of these, <laughs> two, two of them, it would be so much. So we, we need to be grateful that there is a cloud. Adobe is being more than grateful by offering like 5,000 apps and you have access to all of this software. But anyway, I'm not going to 
I'm just going to say props to Adobe because they're doing it big. Like they've cornered the market here. Um, what I use on here, I'll just show you quickly. I use Photoshop. I use Illustrator. I use InDesign. Um, I just recently started using Spark, which deals a lot with making graphics, but in a more do-it-yourself way. They do video stories. I haven't played with that feature yet. But in a more friendly way, kind of like Canva. And the portfolio. Now the portfolio is not its own program per se. It is an online, like a website. And Spark, when it says launch, you just it launches directly to a website. They're both online. The portfolio is free for, for Adobe subscribers. And it's a free, pretty much website hosting for, for your portfolio. So if you are Let's go to it and I'll show you. If you are basically any professional these days trying to keep a job, trying to secure a job, trying to maybe you you just want to stay keep a fresh resume and maybe you just want to always stay mark, you know, marketable. You need a portfolio these days. A resume is not enough. You need to stand out. You need to you need to highlight your brand at all times. You need to always be in the process of reinvention. I mean, you just, you need to really market yourself. And I think a, pro, a portfolio is a perfect way to do that. If you have anything, if you produce anything in your line of work, whether it's, you know, a blog, if, if you produce photography, if you produce videos, if you produce designs of any kind, artwork, like you need to have a portfolio these days um, and a nice one at that. That can make you or break you. Like <laughs> it's almost like people, you, I don't know, you produce bad product, you, you know, first impression is everything. So that's why I'm showing you this today because I can, I'm not going to knock Canva. So I'm going over to this right now. Not Canva, Cravato. Canva is what we, we've been there, done that with Canva. I'm Xing that off. Crivato is the first portfolio I had. I'm not knocking it. It was free as well. It's a great freebie for anybody who needs to design something. They do have some templates, not a whole lot. It is a little bit more limited, and that's probably a, a, a con. The pro is it is free. The pro it is it is, it is easy to navigate. It is do-it-yourself as well. No coding. You can embed coded information, you know, code. You can embed code, but it's not required as well. But as you can see, like I had a harder time manipulating the color, you know, the color scheme and getting the, gra the, the graphic size correctly. And it just wasn't visually as appealing. I, I mean, you could still do your meta tags. There were some features, yay, some nay, you know. And again, it wasn't negative. It's just not, it wasn't up to my standard of what I wanted. I do right here, just looking at this, I can say I love the, the header font, this particular one here. I don't remember what it's called, but I love it just looking at that right there. But everything else, I think this is kind of small. I don't know. I don't want to judge it because, again, it was free. I love this font. I don't want to judge it because, again, it's free. and Anything that people can do that they don't have to do, I can appreciate. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to knock it. But what I'm going to do is click it off and go to this amazing <laughs> site right here. Adobe is definitely doing it big. And I, you know, I wrote about this today on my blog, on my LinkedIn. So if you get a chance to head over to my LinkedIn, if you happen to have the link to my LinkedIn, check me out. Let me see what my LinkedIn is. I can share it with you. There's my LinkedIn right here. But if you get a chance, check me out on my LinkedIn because I did, that's me there. I did write a blog today and I'm just going to show you if I can find it. There it is right here. I wrote a blog today, more like an article called Add Adobe PF to My Shopping Cart. Like, give it to me. I'm ready. <laughs> I'll buy it. Basically, I was saying I'd buy it. So I did a little blog here. So check it out if you get a chance to read it.
But I'm going back here. So I want to show you, I'm just going to tell you what I love quickly, and then you can determine for yourself. I love, you can actually put a photo graphic here or a logo, or you can put a name and there's, you can import any font you basically want. So it's going to look how you want it to look. And you can choose from some great templates. I mean, these people, these folks, I mean, they're the, the, the royalty of, you know, design anyway. So I wouldn't expect any less, but you can basically customize. You don't have to know HTML or CSS. You don't have to know the coding. You don't have to rack your brain trying to figure things out and develop an aneurysm. Like you don't. It's, it's, it's all here. The colors, you can change the colors. I was, I had a little struggle figuring out the color, like to get certain sections the right color. But if you have a little experience customizing, it may take, that might, that might have, of all things, that might have taken me the longest to do. But everything is aligned. It's, everything is already formatted and lined up the way it's supposed to be. Like, see this grid with the photos, like the, um, you know, it's in presentation format. It's, it's all set up already by them. <laughs> the social media accounts here, so you can actually, people can access your social media. I have here, for me, I have an about me, so I'll just show you that quickly, what everything looks like. That's my about me, with me, and a video. You know the video, you've seen it. Then, in the work section, I have all the graphic art projects. So there's a beauty magazine. I'm just gonna go quickly and show you. Beauty magazine. I love the way this the um, subheading areas are, the description area and the heading, the font choices look great. It just comes out looking really professional and nice. And anyway, um, this is the magazine spread. It did section it page by page, so you can see each page in that catalog. Then I kind of went ahead. Hold on, let me go back. Oh no, I was in the right area. So graphic art. And I have that mock up with my logo and branding information there. The poster, the tourism promo material. Could either be a flyer. The great thing about that could be a postcard, could be a flyer, could be a poster. And I have my thumbnail that I made for my YouTube, which just gives you some ideas, but everything is awesome here. Like the layout is wonderful. And then there's the business branding. Some of those branding projects are listed there, including the business card that I had done, including the logo. And what I wanna show you about this is I, the idea that I had so here you see the flyer again, but in a different way. So I only I have the finished project product, and then I also have the components that I use to make the project above. So I figured it'd be neat to show everybody the assets and then the original, and then I added the effects to it. But that's the cool thing you could do here. You could even import embed videos, links. It's just I don't know. It's I like it. It's pretty cool. And then the contact me section is here. You can, I probably could have added a little more here, but I wanted to keep it simple. Um, the only thing I'm missing is the link to my YouTube channel and my Instagram, but I do have, I don't see a link to YouTube up here. I don't know if, I don't remember if that was one of the options, but I do have Instagram here. The only thing that's not here, the only last thing that I'll add before I call it a night is that, they don't have a way to directly, like a right-click share option. You can actually share with Behance, and Behance is a great networking community. I do like to meet other people that are that have the same interest and hobby, and you know that are kind of going in the same direction I'm going. And I like to get feedback and give feedback, and you know, so they do have a share and share sharing partnership with Behance. But you can't like right click share with Instagram or Facebook. Now, what you see here is this is people contacting you on your social media. Again, minor, because I guess you can always 
copy your link and post it into your social media networks. But I would have liked to see that option. That's the only thing I probably would recommend because everything else is wonderful. Especially if you can get unlimited pages and it's free. It's awesome. So anyway, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed everything today. And another day, another video. Have a good evening.